Hi, this is Michael from the Bowersock Gallery here in Provincetown, getting ready to open. Today I get the honor to talk to Terry Rafferty, one of our still life painters, who does amazing work with figurines and animals and fold paintings that people just love to collect. Are you a collector of the figurines that you paint, Terry? Well, I have a huge collection at this point. It started um, probably with a polar bear that my ex-husband gave me. Uh, years and years and years ago and so that was one of the first paintings I ever did was of the polar bear and obviously I've continued with the polar bears you've got one of them behind you I do uh, they're a lot of fun to paint and white porcelain is especially fun to paint because you bring in so many colors to create the essence of white so is that why you choose them because of the porcelain and the, the colors it can give you yes um, other other surfaces are not for me it's much fun to paint it, it's um i don't know there's just something challenging and interesting about how you get that porcelain feel that i enjoy but well, I don't do the porcelain um, you got to be challenged and, you, and you've got to like what you do um the process that you do is, is it take a lot of setting up it does the sometimes the, the animals will set up easily or a vase and, and, and flowers but sometimes it's a struggle and I'll put the animals aside. And uh, one of my favorite paintings, actually at one uh, uh, Best in Show for OPA a few years ago, and it was a pig and a dog and I couldn't make them talk to each other. I just kept trying to <laughs> And I set them aside with their backs facing out. I was just gonna put them away for a while. And, and all of a sudden that was there. It was the two of them, just a, a view of the back of them being friends, the pig was kind of leaning into the to the dog, and I ended up thinking about uh, Willie Nelson's uh, was it Starry Night song, which I, I just love. And so I gave him a starry background, almost like they were watching in the distance, or, or at a movie theater, watching this screen of stars. And, but that was one that I really struggled with to get the, the setup. That's Other amazing. Times, it's just perfect. What do you feel is the funniest thing that you've ever painted? Um, I mean, granted, it could be the painting you just discussed. It, um, yeah, well, yeah, that's, they're all kind of fun because because it's interesting to me how you end up having a conversation with the figurines. Um, they become real and they have very definite expressions. So, one of the paintings I was doing, uh, it was a beautiful formal basket, and I wanted to put actually that same dog and pig into the foreground. And so I was setting it up and everything was going well and I dropped the pig. Oh. It shattered. Just 15 pieces. And um, so I got the glue out and I glued them all back together. And, but I ended up with a, a kind of a, you could see where the glue line was on his shoulder and you could see the little oh. part that I couldn't get glued. So was, his leg was broken. And so that whole painting became about the pig talking to the dog this is what happened to me, and it's called the tale. I love that. Yeah, so um, these things happen. I, again, I think your work is amazing. I think here at the gallery, people love it when it comes in. In this situation that we're facing right now, um, what would you have to say to an artist? The situation of COVID or? And the COVID, everything that we're doing, their creativity. Get out of your head. Um, Very good. It's, I have days where I'm so depressed and so frustrated and um, don't paint because it's just, it's just frustrating. Um, I try to paint more cheerful things mm -hmm. right now, but it doesn't always come out that way. And I just, I just finished a polar bear painting that I'm going to ship up to you next week. It's getting framed right now. And it's a pretty sad painting. It wasn't supposed to be, but it, that's how it came out. And I've got another one. Um, it's actually this little elephant that's sitting here. And I intended that one to be a very quiet, introverted painting. And it's coming out very cheerful and fun and happy. And so, you know, just kind of get out of your head, keep working. Well, that's great advice. I mean, that, that's, that's awesome advice. And I think definitely people should listen to it. If you'd like to see Terry's work, please go to our website www.bowersockgallery.com and check out Terry Rafferty. And again, Terry, I want to thank you for talking to me today and we'll be doing more in the future. 
Thank you so much. It's so good to see you, and I hope you guys get open soon. I can't wait to get the rabbit in the background. <laughs> it's coming. Thank you very much.